So now as you are familiar with uh, the level sequence and you know what the level sequence is, now in this lesson, we will go through all these different options that we have here. Now, the first option here is basically, if you will see, it's about the actors and the options to bind. So this is for the binding here. And usually uh, we don't work uh, on it a lot. Okay. Next to it, we have saving the sequence. So actually, if you will see here, the sequencer name and plus there is a static option here. Now, this static means that it's not saved. Whenever you are saving any file inside Unreal Engine, when you go in the file, you will see there is a save current level. So it will only save the level that you're working on. And now if you are at on the third part, you will see save all. That means it will not only save the level, it will also save the sequence if you're saving. Now, if I will press this save button here, it do the save, uh, same thing, but this doesn't save the level. So if you want to save only the level, you can press Control S. If you want to save everything, you can press save all or Control Shift S. And if you only want to save the sequence, you can just press this button and it will save the sequence. Now you don't have the static anymore. But the ideal op uh, thing to do is that you can press Control Shift and S whenever you want to save everything. Now here we have the save option and here is find the viewed sequence asset in the content browser that suppose uh, I click on this chair and I click on this option so it will show me where this sequence is. Sometimes your sequence is uh, lost somewhere and you want to see where the sequence is. This is how you can get the sequence. Now here is to create a new camera and set it as a current camera cut. You can create a new camera here, but it won't give you a cine camera. It will give you a normal camera. So if I click it here, it will give me a normal cine camera, which is spawned basically. So we, uh, it's not ideal to use this one. So it's always better to create from here. We don't want the spawn because spawn is basically a term from the gamers that uh, usually appears by itself uh, when you're playing a game. So uh, usually it's not ideal to, to use it from here. It's better to add from here or just create through um, right clicking or from these options. Now next here we have render the movie. If you want to render the movie, you can click uh, here. Okay. So uh, when we will move to the rendering part, we will more cover this in detail. This one here is basically, um, it opens the blueprint directory, whatever blueprints you are using, it will open from here. Okay. So this is a blueprint for the whole sequence. You can control the sequence with the blueprint. So I, uh, if we don't want to use this, uh, uh, usually it is used when you're, uh, whenever you are working on a blueprint, especially when you're working, uh, on a game, uh, here we have actions and uh, there are different actions here. So save as, export, import, uh, like open directories and other stuff and uh, trim, uh, trim or extend. So you have different options here. Now, uh, apart from that, we, uh, we have like trimming and everything. We will learn more in detail. Baking, we will learn more in detail once we will keep moving forward uh, in this uh, chapter. Okay, and some of them we will learn when, when we will move to the meta human animation so that all at once we will uh, learn. So if you're watching this video and you want to skip to uh, the ex, uh, like a trimming and baking and all this stuff, you can go to my uh, meta human uh, chapters and you will learn there. Now, apart from that here, we have view options. So you have different options. You, you want to see the pilot camera, auto scrolling. You want to see the channel colors. So all these options will uh, will be uh, you, like you, you can active or deactivate from here. So it's totally up to you, whatever you want to see or whatever you don't want to see. Next is the playback options. Now in the playback options here, you have uh, start till end, uh, playback speed, playback range locked, uh, like suppose if my range is from here to here and I want to lock this range so I can do that from this option. 
So there are a couple of other things. I don't want to go in details. You can check by your own. It's more like self-explanatory. And then let's move to the other part. So this is key just uh, if you want to add uh, or view uh, different sort of keys. Like suppose I want to see all keys. I can choose all keys. If I want to uh, see only key group, I can uh, see everything which is a key group. You can make a key frames, uh, like groups of key frame or key changed. So uh, it will only show you the changed key frames. So usually by default it is key changed. So I will keep it uh, key changed. I don't want to change it to key group or something else. And here also it, you can filter out if you want to see the cubic auto or user or linear. So it's totally up to you how you want to see this we have already covered in the our last lesson. This is basically to turn on the auto key, turn on or off. So it's totally up to you. Now here is the edit. Now allow edit, what it do is that right now I have allow all edit. That means if I will change the position or anything uh, of any one of these objects, like suppose I will move the chair. So chair will be edited inside my sequencer also the one that I'm using or also it will be changed inside the level which is here okay the main level not the sequence so it will do that now other thing uh, it I can do here is that suppose if I'm changing this in the sequence and I only want it to change in sequence but I don't want to change it in the levels so I can only choose the level edit only and if I want to do the opposite, I will choose level at its only and it will not change in the sequence. But at the stage, I want to change it in both levels also and sequence also. This is what I usually like. So I keep it at uh, at this part point. OK, now here I have a mag uh, like a snapping so you can turn on and off the snappings here. Uh, it will help you to go to different parts, like suppose if the snapping is on and or so I can move object and it will snap to the ending and the beginning of the other keyframe. So this is how it will allow me to snap and make things accurate. But this is, if this is off, so it will not snap and I have to be really accurate. So I sometimes I turn it on, sometimes I turn it off. So it's totally up to you. This here is your keyframes. So whatever keyframes you want, you can choose from here and it will change. Uh, sorry, this is the frame per second. So whatever frame per second you want, you can choose. I usually use 24 frame per second as film. If, uh, but sometimes I also use 60 frame per second if I want a more speedy uh, like look to my animation. So it's totally up to you what you want to use here. If you want to give a uh, stop motion sort of uh, style to your animation, so you can choose uh, 12 frame per second, or you can say, an animation style of uh, a 2D animation. So you can use this. So it's totally up to you. Next here is the show animation key uh, in, in a curve editor. This is I showed you in the last uh, lesson also. And so if you want to choose any one of these, it will show you that's keyframes. So if you will see whatever is linear is more, more like straight. Okay. So it's more like a uh, kind of a... Uh, you can say curves or tangents on those kind of things to cal to control your animation. So here, these are the basics uh, of of these. Next, here we have the name of the sequence, okay, which you can lock. So if you lock it, so you cannot edit anything out. You can just view. So for safety purposes, you can lock your animation. So nothing will be. Uh, you can say edit out. So unlock, I can edit anything. Lock, I cannot do, uh, do any sort of editing. These are the layers of whatever you are adding. We, we have covered already this in the last class. This is basically your timeline. We already covered it. This shows you the working range start. This is the working range and, and, and this is your start point. This is your end point. So usually uh, the start point and the end point are set from here. This is zero. Where, this, uh, where I have this green uh, start point and 300 is the ending. And this blue one here is basically where I am current, uh, where I'm currently on. Now these options you will see uh, here as well and here as well. In case if you don't see it here, make sure you are in the cinematic viewport. Now what this do is that it records uh, the actor in a sequence 
for example, if I will go in uh, in the beginning here and I will take this part, okay? And then what I can do here is that I can start recording here and I will just press here, the record button, and it will start recording the options, like whatever I'm doing. Okay, so let's stop this. Now if I will go in the beginning and play, so you can see that whatever I have done is recorded. Okay. So automatically it got added also. It made a folder here also and it added here. So this is how you can manually uh, do the uh, animation. Just like a like performance-based animation that you do inside. Uh, let me undo this. That you do inside the... Uh, like the correct time. Oh, what happened to this? So I think I have done a lot of undos. So yeah, fine. Okay, so I hope this part is clear. Now, uh, what else we have here is basically, let me remove this. Okay, what else we have is basically uh, here for set a playback start and set playback end. So this is for these uh, red, uh, sorry, green and red options. You can change from here and here as well. Or if I click it here from this part, or if I click it here, this end part. So this will now become my range, okay? Which actually I don't want, so I will undo that. Okay, apart from this, this is to go in the front. Uh, means like in the beginning of your an animation and to the end of your animation. Basically, this will take you to the red uh, bar, bar. This will take you to the green bar. This is basically jump next or previous keyframes. If you have the keyframes, it will take you, sorry, uh, your tracks, like whatever tracks you have. Okay. So not uh, not only tracks, the keyframes as well. So you can see I have flipped more like a couple of keyframes here. So if I will keep on clicking, it will it will start jumping to, uh, to those keyframes. If you remember, I made these keyframes for the chair animation. This is basically uh, one frame back one frame forward it will take you so if you want to do some sort of a uh, accurate animation for this uh, for this uh, for that part it has been you uh, it's usually used this is the reversed playback this is the forward playback if i press reverse playback it will go uh, in the reverse option if i pause and uh, press this it will go in the uh, in a regular normal animation so i hope this basic interface option is uh, like clear uh, with you right now. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon. By the way, I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing. So let's change that. Subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community. Now, here's something really important I want to talk about. Please do not download my videos. Just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.